Good morning this Wednesday, the 24th of May. I'm Grady Wall for Market Analyst with Bell Direct. Wall Street closed lower on Tuesday as negotiations over the debt ceiling appear to be making very little progress. Monday's meeting between President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy was productive, with President Biden saying a default was now off the table. However, no set resolution has been decided just yet. The S&P 500 dropped 1.12% on Tuesday, the Dow Jones fell 0.69% and the tech-heavy Nasdaq lost 1.26%. In Europe, markets closed lower on Tuesday as investors in the region also keep a very close eye on US debt ceiling negotiations, whereby talks continue with no clear resolution in check just yet. The Eurozone Composite Purchasing Managers Index for May showed solid growth that continues to be driven by services, with manufacturing hit by a weak demand and fall in selling prices according to CNBC. Germany's DAX fell 0.44% on Tuesday, the French CAC lost 1.33% and in the UK the FTSE 100 fell 0.1 percent. The local market had a very lackluster session yesterday as a more than 1 percent loss in the consumer discretionary sector offset strong gains for financial and real estate stocks. Markets have been moving over the last week in line with progress and lack thereof negotiations in debt ceiling talks between US President Joe Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. As negotiations on Tuesday were inconclusive, investor optimism on the local index took a slide and caused a negative end to a lacklustre session on the ASX. Qantas shares dipped over 2% on Tuesday, despite the flying kangaroo forecasting it would reach up to $2.5 billion in pre-tax profit for the 2023 financial year. Investor sentiment in the airline was shaken by the warning that softening fuel prices would put downward pressure on airfares, which in turn would cause a reduction in margins for Qantas. There is also more capacity coming online post-pandemic, both through Qantas's new fleet and as international carriers ramp up operations back into Australia, which will also contribute to the downward pressure on Qantas airfares in the highly competitive market. On the commodities front this morning, oil is trading 1.01% higher at 72 US dollars and 77 cents a barrel, following a sharp decline earlier this week. Amid weakened demand fears out of China as the country's emergence out of lengthy COVID-19 lockdowns has been much weaker than expected. Gold is up 0.34% at 1,976 US dollars an ounce, and iron ore is down 2.3% at 106 US dollars a tonne. Taking a look at economic data out today, you UK inflation rate data for April is released at 5 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, with consensus expecting a decline to 8.2% from 10.1% in March, in a sign the Bank of England's rate hikes are taking effect on cooling inflation in the UK. One Aussie dollar is buying 66 US cents, 91.55 Japanese yen, 53.47 British pence, and one New Zealand dollar and six cents. Stocks trading ex dividend today include Orica, New Farm, and Aristocrat Leisure. If you've been thinking about these stocks, it might be worth considering buying in today, as stocks trading ex dividend generally trade lower on the ex dividend date. Ahead of the local trading session here in Australia, the SPY futures are anticipating the ASX to open the midweek session almost half a percent lower on the back of the global market sell off overnight as debt ceiling negotiations push on. And now let's dive into some trading ideas for your consideration today. Bell Potter has decreased the price target on IDP education from $30.45 to $30 and maintain a hold rating on the global education services provider following the company announcing the acquisition of UK based technology company The Ambassador Platform in a deal worth 16.8 million Australian dollars which IDP will fund through its existing cash balance. The slight decrease in price target comes off the back of the acquisition with factoring in the total consideration for the acquisition of 9 million pounds or the equivalent of 16.8 million Aussie dollars. And Trading Central has identified a bullish signal on APM Human Services International following the formation of a pattern over a period of 16 days, which is roughly the same amount of time the share price may rise from the close of $1.95 to the range of $2.05 to $2.07, according to standard principles of technical analysis. And that's all we have time for today. Happy Wednesday and happy investing.